Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I bid to Dr. Nur Syah binti Kadeh and my fellow classmates. We from Group 3 are going to present our topic Switzerland and these are our group members. Dain Desi Dakira binti Dasri, Nurul Nazratun Shafika binti Muhammad Fazila, Nur Aisha Idina binti Zainuddin, Nurul Alisha Sabrina binti Abdul Syukur and Nur Atika Shahira binti Zaharin. Switzerland is a landlocked country at the crossroads of Western, Central and Southern Europe, officially known as the Swiss Confederation. It is a federal republic with federal authority located in Bern, comprising of 26 cantons. Switzerland is bordered on the south by Italy, on the west by France, on the north by Germany and on the east by Austria and Liechtenstein. With an area of 41,285 square kilometers, the country is just slightly smaller than the Netherlands or almost twice the size of the U.S. state of New Jersey. Switzerland is influenced by four major European climates. Mild and moist MSS arrive from the west, influenced by the North Atlantic Drift. Dry and cold air arrive from the North Arctic, continental Air from the east brings dry colder air in the winter and warmer air in the summer and relatively moist and warm air flows northward from the Mediterranean. Switzerland has four language regions which are German, French, Italian and Romance. Spanish, Serbian and Croatian and Albanian are also common languages in Switzerland. The number of German, Italian and Romance speakers is falling, whilst French speakers are increasing. Non-national languages are also gaining in importance. The two most widely spoken non-national languages are English and, and Portuguese. Multilingualism is an essential part of Switzerland's identity. Switzerland is also known for its religious variety. Religions, on the other hand, on the other hand, are not distributed in the same way as languages due to population movement brought on by industrialization, which resulted in a broader variety of religions. There is a small but considerable Muslim population, mostly of Turkish or Balkan origin, as well as a modest Jewish community with Roman Catholics, somewhat outnumbering Protestants. Switzerland has a successful and contemporary market economy with low unemployment, a highly skilled workforce, and one of the world's highest GDP per capita. The country's economy benefits from a well-developed service sector driven by financial services as well as a manufacturing industry focused on high-tech and knowledge-based products. I present about macroeconomic problem of Switzerland. First, inflation. Inflation is defined as an increase in the overall trend in the price of goods and service in a given economy. Money's purchasing power will erode when the general price level rises, resulting in each unit of currency purchasing less goods and service. Inflation rate in Switzerland the inflation rate for consumer price in Switzerland moved over the last 41 years between negative 1.1% and 6.5%. For 2020, an inflation rate of zero, negative 0.7% 0 changed into calculated. During the remark duration from 1979 to 2020, the average inflation rate changed into 1.7% in keeping with years. Overall, the price increase changed into 96.48% and I think that price 100 French in 1979 changed into so charged 169.48 French within sight the starting of 2021. Overall, the improvement of inflation changed into very moderate even as we think Side the identical duration there had been a long way more fluctuation between side the euro currency area. According to graph, Switzerland inflation rate increased from 0.53% in 2017 to 0.94% in 2008. After that, Switzerland inflation rate has dropped to 0.36% in 2019. 
housing and energy 27% of total weight and healthcare are the most important categories in the consumer price index in Switzerland 18%. Transportation makes up 10% food and non-alcoholic beverage make up to 12%. Restaurant and hotels make up 7%. Aeration and culture make up 7%. Causes of inflation. First, demand pull inflation. It's brought about by an increase in aggregate demand as a result of higher private and government spending. It will promote economic growth by stimulating investment and expansion due to excess demand and attractive market circumstances. Second, cost push inflation. Cost push inflation is a decrease in aggregate supply. It's the cost potential output. This could be as a result of natural calamities or rising input price. For example, a decrease in oil supply can lead to an increase in the price of oil, as well as cost push inflation. Next, the effect of inflation to economy of Switzerland. First, increase in production of goods. During inflation, the general level of price increase, producers are able to make higher profits providing they have old stocks. They will let producers to increase their level of production and investment. For the next one, uh, deficits in balance of trade. During inflation, many countries face a deficit balance of trade since imports are greater than export. This arises when the price of domestic product increase as this makes them less attractive to foreigners thereby leading to a reduction in the demand for domestic product. At the same time, import increase because the import product are now cheaper than domestic product. There is no actual ID number is every day. Seat number 2020 I will present macroeconomic problem unemployment in Switzerland. The definition of unemployment and employment occurs when people who are in the working age group are able and willing to work but unable to find suitable jobs. The, uh, the unemployment represents the numbers of people in the workplace who want to work but, uh, but unable to get jobs. Unemployment also is often used as a measure to gauge the health of the economy in the country. Now it's unemployment rate in Switzerland. Unemployment refers to the share of the labor force that is without by available for existing employment. Okay, based on the diagram, we uh, provide the data of this work. Unemployment work from 2017 to 2021. The data for 2021 was 8.8 to 4.84%, 0.10% for 2020. Unemployment work for 2020 was 4.994%, uh, 0.55% increase from 2019, while rate for 2019 was 4.39%, uh, 0.32% decline from 2018. And the last one is rate for 2018 was 4.71%, uh, 0.09% decline from 2017. Cause of unemployment in Switzerland in 2019, uh, the world involved with COVID-19 was infected with inter the country's economy. Uh, Switzerland was affected by this pandemic that many of their people lost their job. Okay, so on 16 March 2020, Switzerland labor market appears dramatic, which is 30,000 employees lost their job on average in March. Every since the shutdown. And the economy of the Switzerland decreased since the COVID 19 pandemic, which is many sectors were impressed because of that. Just in two months, the rate of employment in Switzerland increased 4.94% to in 2020. Effect of unemployment on economy and society. The first thing is society. Unemployment in Switzerland will have a deeper impact on society than financial problems. Uh, unemployment also affected family relationship, depression, psychology, and poverty. 
or their families with a large number of household, it will also affect the future planning of the children. It will also have a very devastating effect where unemployed individuals will cause children to their mental, mental and physical health. Thus, the high employment rate will increase uh, the crime rate because the number of volunteers is less. Then, it's economy. The impact of employment to the system is reducing its output, which is it will lower living standard and at the same time slowing down and accelerating its development. By the rate of employment in this system, it shows that the economy of Switzerland big and slow to big. But in 2019, the claim showed that the Switzerland economy is very prominent with a declining employment rate. Or it showed that the Switzerland economy was very good and stable at the time and even it slumped again in 2020 because the unemployment rate increased because the country was hit by the COVID-19, which is caused the economic sector to weaken. It's Nurul Alicia Sabrina Pinti Abushko. I will tell about public policies used by the country to overcome macroeconomic issue or problem. Monetary policy is a policy which employs the central bank's control of money supply as an instrument for achieving the objective of the general economic policy. The Swiss National Bank has decided to stick to its expansionary monetary policy. A day after the U.S. Federal Reserve announced it was tightening monetary policies amid rising inflation. Expansionary, expansionary monetary policy is also known as easy monetary policy. The policy is aimed to increase the money supply to lower interest rates and expand real GDP. This policy is employed to control unemployment. Many central banks are under pressure to respond to rising inflation. The objective of monetary policy in Switzerland is to ensure price stability, which the SNB defined as a rise in consumer prices of less than 2% per annum. Historically, the SNB has achieved an inflation rate close to the midpoint of that range that is 1%. This objective is considered below the targets of other central banks and over time the SNB has achieved an impressive reputation for maintaining price stability. The Swiss National Bank increased its inflation and GDP per case but vowed to keep monetary policy ultra loose to control the highly valued Swiss francs. The Swiss francs is highly valued, inflation is very low and the output gap is still negative. The SNB's monetary policy strategy sets out how the SNB implements its monetary policy mandate. It has been in place since 2000 and consists of three elements that is a definition of price stability, a medium term inflation forecast, and the SNB policy rate. The SNB acutes price stability with a rise in the Swiss consumer price index of less than 2% per annum. Deflation, which is a pro protected decline in the price level, is also regarded as a breach of the objective of price stability. With this definition, the SNB takes into consideration the fact that inflation cannot be stated with pinpoint accuracy or measure price Measure problem arise, for example, when the quality of goods and services improve. The SNB review its monetary policy on a regular basis to ensure that it is appropriate for maintaining price stability. It published its conditional forecast for inflation over the next three years on a quarterly basis. The period of three years corresponds roughly to the time required for monetary policy stimuli to be transmitted to the economy. The Swiss National Bank implements its monetary policy by setting the SNB policy rate. The SNB maintains price stability by ensuring appropriate monetary condition. This means keeping interest rate and the exchange rates aligned to the prevailing economic situation. Low interest rates promote the supply of money and credit to the economy, generated by increased demand for goods, service, and investment. Over time, however, this may overlay stress production capacity, leading to a rise in the price level. Unemployment is likely to decline again somewhat, and the at and the utilization 
utilization of production capacity should continue to return to the normal. Government should apply expansionary monetary policy to increase money supply, increase aggregate demand and economic growth through cutting interest rate in order to overcome unemployment. When interest rates are lower, exchange rates are also lower and, and economies export are more competitive. Last but not least, Switzerland provides a perfect operating circumstances for a foreign firm with liberal and business-friendly legislation, politician, and financial stability, first infrastructure, and a highly motivated and well-trained staff. The country is one of the most popular in the country. Crucial technology plays leading local cooperation and well-known international cooperation. The high standard of education in Switzerland system ensure the appetite and know how to present in labor market, and it delivers a substantial incentive or for international executive. Switzerland worldwide financial system as well as its professional and academic linguistic ability lay the groundwork for a friendly and vibrant international env environment. However, when there is a downturn, it suffered the consequence and export which had in previously been a grown engine become a huge drag on growth. It is reasonable to assume that Switzerland is doing something fundamentally wrong. Switzerland internal market is so tiny it cannot afford relying on international commerce. Switzerland can influence its sensitivity to the global downturn and it and its medium term standing in the face of worldwide competitiveness. Switzerland must at the very least thrift to be ready for the next upturn. The fact that its export to the Philippines economy of fast increasing suggests that even more diversification is expected in the future which will serve to offset any one-sided susceptibility. This is undoubtedly cool comfort in the present economic depression which has hit virtually every country in the global at almost the same time. From a medium-term view, it is an advantage on which Switzerland can build. Switzerland is tragically positioned quite well.